two spring settings too as well. So for example, a faucet here, you have temperature, hot, see the hot is down below, cold, and then you have the volume control, which is on this side here. Sorry, oh, okay. so, so volume, temperature. If I'm gonna put a, uh, what do you call this? Filter? Filter for water. Okay. So. So if you want to put a filter for water, it requires a, usually a water dispenser, which be, means that you'd either have to have find somebody to drill a hole in your granite. Oh, so you have to drill? Or go with a company that offers a service like drilling through to add a water dispenser like Cooligan. I had a homeowner over in phase eight, not too far away, who was asking who could drill their countertop and then he decided to go with Cooligan because included with their contract they would install a water dispenser and they drilled their hole as well too. Okay. So it's, you can, you absolutely can. Of course your refrigerator will have usually a filter and there is a ice maker water line behind the refrigerator over there too. But some people I know want another option. Yeah, for the refrigerator water. So concrete and stucco, we mentioned concrete as part of the structural warranty, okay? But concrete, because of its heat and expansion and cold and contraction, can develop little micro cracking inside of it. But if the cracking opens up to, for concrete in excess of a quarter of an inch, then you're covered under the 10-year warranty. And smaller cracks quarter than of an inch. Quarter of an inch, yes. Smaller than that is considered aesthetics and it's inherent in the characteristics of cracking of concrete because that's what concrete does. Stucco is that rough coating on the exterior of the home that you can see across the way. The neighbor's house has that rough coating. Well, there's three layers of that coating and the final coating is that rough textured look that's painted. Again, you can develop little micro cracking, especially where there was a opening like a window that was there or a vent or a door. Those are vulnerable areas and can develop little cracking. It's aesthetic only, but if it opens up in excess of an eighth of an inch, you are covered under structural warranty. Mm -hmm. And again, you'll get copies of all this over here too as well. Water heaters, which we're gonna talk about in the garage, require some maintenance to be able to keep up their warranty. Like at least once a year, a water heater should be flushed out, okay? To be able to keep up a warranty, to get rid of any hard water deposits that may build up inside the water heater. Okay. Usually a homeowner would contact a plumber like Matthews Plumbing, Plumbing by Kirk, John Mary Plumbing. There's a bunch of local companies. They can ask over the phone how much do you charge to flush out a water heater and then they can come out and take care of it for you. Okay. I'll go over some other recommended. These are recommendations, guys. I know a lot of people who never even change the filter in their air conditioning. Mm -hmm. All we do is make the recommendation because it keeps up the longevity or the life of that product. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so here we have, let me put this over on this side, just a signature right here, please. I only need one signature for that one. So the next item has to do with landscaping. So let's take a peek out the window over here. So you will see just in front of the condenser a green drain. That green drain is connected to the rain gutter drains and would go out towards the street and into the storm drain underneath the street. So right now we have pre-sloped the dirt, but it's just temporary because it's only dirt, it's not concrete or pavers or artificial turf. So that rainwater would run off and wouldn't sit against your house. But when you do your landscaping, please make sure that your landscaper keeps the slope away from the house, meaning water runs away from the house and towards the drains. So I always say, like in our models, if you look at the landscaping, you don't see a big green drain sitting there in the middle. You see periodic drains, meaning that the landscapers, as you could have done too, have branched into that pipe that's under the dirt that leads to that drain and put 
drains where they want to depending on your design. They don't have to be big green drains, they could be small circular drains or smaller square drains. Mm -hmm. do, do you know any landscapers? Yeah. Okay. I know there's, I don't have a referral for all trades, but if you need a referral for a landscaper, I can send you somebody. It has nothing to do with TriPoint and me, but I know he does good work for reasonable prices. Mm -hmm. And you might get a few other quotes or a couple other quotes and compare and go with whoever you like. Mm -hmm. okay. So the next form, what you're signing about, or for, is just that your landscaper keeps up the drainage so that damage doesn't happen to your home. Please go ahead. 